Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4, and welcome to my channel. Alright y'all, today we are going to make a huge snowman wreath, door hanger, whatever you want to call it, for your front door. Um, it's February. <laughs> today is officially February the 1st, and we had a nice storm this week. So I thought it's like perfect timing to make a big old snowman for our front door. Yeah, I guess kind of depending on where you live, you may or may not want a snowman this time of year. But for us, February is typically like our coldest month and when we get our most, the most snow. All right, so from Dollar Tree, I have the 14 inch wire wreath frame and I also have the 18 inch. So like I said, we are gonna make a big old snowman for our doors. All right, now, you can use any material that you want. I want to use, I've never done this before. I bought this big, thick, um, I bought the Sparkle Chanel yarn from Walmart. I figure we all have a Walmart. <laughs> I know not everybody has a Hobby Lobby, but we all have a Walmart within driving distance. So I got this big old thing of white yarn. And when I love it, it has like, sil like silver like speckles throughout it. You can tell that. You can like see the silver. I thought like how perfect is that for like a snowman? This is 31.7 yards. This was like $7. I did grab, I grabbed two because honestly, I have no idea how much it's gonna take. And I wouldn't really think that we're gonna need both of these, but I don't know. I've never made this before. So this is gonna be our first for both of us. So I did grab these two and I also grabbed a black. I just grabbed one thing of black. All right, so materials I'm using, those yarns, these two right here, you're going to need scissors, either um, hot glue gun, pipe cleaners, or zip ties, whichever one you want to use, and then like a cute scarf or ribbon or something. We'll kind of get into it because like I said, this is going to be the first for me too. And if this is your first time, I craft as close to live as I can get without actually being live because that would be a hot mess. <laughs> But, um, so like I said, this is going to be me making it right now with you. So that's why I don't really know exactly what to tell you. But by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to make a wreath. And also, if you love to make wreaths, this right here, this is so crazy, yet so fun and beautiful. It's like our vintage inspired Valentine's wreath. So I love how this turned out. So if you missed it, I'll link it down below for you. But. All right, as always, I am gonna adjust the camera. That way you can see exactly what we're gonna do. So, okay. All right, hopefully this is a good angle. I had to get you up kinda high. All right, so I am gonna take zip ties. These are just two of the kinda like clear zip ties from Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna line these up, and I'm gonna line up, I don't know if it matters, but the little crossbar right here, I'm gonna line mine two up. And I really don't think it matters, but that's how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to zip tie these two wreath forms together. Alright. First I'm going to do it kind of loose, just to kind of hold it there for me for a second. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing right here. We're going to see <laughs> if this is going to work. So I'm going to zip tie that as tight as I can get it. Same thing right here. As tight as I can get that one. Alright. I'm going to cut off this excess tails just right there. Cut that off. Bring that off. Alright. We are gonna take our white yarn. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a white pipe cleaner. Once again, like I said, you can do um, zip ties and I'm just gonna cut that in half. All right, so this is the bottom of our wreath. Just right here, like one of the little crossbars. I'm just gonna take a, the end of this, the pipe cleaner, and I'm gonna wrap it around. Actually, I'm gonna do like a little crisscross. Okay, because I don't want this to slide everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the pipe cleaner in. OK. 
Okay, I'm then gonna wrap it around that bar, come back up, and now that is not gonna slide and go anywhere. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna take this end, the end of this yarn right here, and I'm gonna put this on here, and I'm gonna twist this pipe cleaner around it as tight as I can, just a few times. Now I'm gonna cut off the excess tail. I don't need all that. All right, so now that I have this attached right here, what I'm gonna do is, because you gotta get this started, and if not, <laughs> it's just gonna keep like flopping everywhere. So, I'm even, I'm gonna take my little silicone mat from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna put it underneath there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. I'm gonna do some hot glue on this bottom rim, on this bottom edge. Kind of go along this, just do a little hot glue going across it. Alright. Now I'm gonna lay our yarn into that hot glue and just kind of like tap it on there. Careful though, don't burn yourself. Alright, so you see I have that hot glue right there. I'm now gonna do this little section right here too. I'm just gonna take some hot glue. I'm just gonna do a little thing. I'm just gonna do like a little line of hot glue going across this wire. Okay, right, and I'm gonna lay that right on top of there. Alright, so now that we have that hot glue right there, this the bottom I think is gonna be the trickiest part of all of that is getting this started. I really I feel like once we get past this, it's gonna be really quick. So all right, my thought is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pull this around to the back side. I'm gonna pull it snug. I'm gonna pull it snug and I'm gonna come back down here where we just started, like where we um, first started. I'm gonna put some hot glue right there on top of that. I'm gonna pull, pull that up into that hot glue. Just remember, don't burn yourself. All right, so now that I have that hot glue right there, I'm not gonna pull over to this little crossbar right here. Once again, I'm gonna put some hot glue on this crossbar. Okay. I'm gonna set that into that, that hot glue. Okay. The fingers for the the finger protectors from Dollar Tree work great if you have those. Right there. Now I'm gonna pull it to this crossbar. Same thing. Hot glue on that crossbar, and we'll pull that over to there. All right, now I'm gonna wrap this around the back side, and I'm gonna come back to that same, that first crossbar. All right, once again, I'm gonna do some hot glue right on top of all that yarn that I just added. Okay, I'm gonna pull that, and I'm gonna hold that into place right there. Now you can kind of see I've got a gap in between my two uh, rolls of yarn. So I'm gonna lay this right across that spacing, that gap right there. And I'm gonna put hot glue right here on top of this yarn where that crossbar is. So I'm gonna pull that snug right to there. Apply pressure. Okay. Same thing, I can see that gap right there. I'm gonna put hot glue on top of this yarn. Okay, I'm gonna pull that over to that. I'm gonna apply pressure. All right, now, I think I'm just gonna take my yarn and I'm gonna start wrapping the one from the back. So now that I'm back over here, do some more hot glue onto that. Hot glue right back here, right there in the center. All right, pull that across. All right, same thing over here on this crossbar. Right, I'm gonna pull that over there. All right, so once again, you can see I kind of have a gap right here. I'm gonna put hot glue right here and here. I'm gonna pull that straight across to 
put that right there. Right. And then we'll put some right here on this one, right there in that center. Okay. And pull that over to there. All right. I'm gonna go wrap wrap around the back again. I'm gonna put hot glue on that same little crossbar like we have been. Some hot glue right there. Pull that snug up into that glue. All right. Hot glue right here on the center crossbar. Push that into it. And then back over here to this one. Pull that straight over. All right, once again, wrap around the back. All right, put a little thing of hot glue right here onto this wire. Just right there. Wrap that into it. All right, so now right here, I give them a little fill in. Put a little hot glue right there in the center. Now I'm gonna lay that down right into that hot glue. Then I'm gonna come over here. Same thing. More hot glue right there. Alright, I'm gonna wrap that back around. Do a little thing of hot glue right here. Glue those two together. Alright, so now that you have your base started. I am now just gonna take this yarn and I'm just gonna start wrapping. All right, so now that I'm kinda like right up here towards the center, I am gonna put a little thing of hot glue. Okay, just kinda you know, right here on the side of this little wire. Let's kind of lay that into it. Alright, I'll pull back over. I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. Okay. And you can see this one just right here on this wire, the outer ring. Put some hot glue and we'll pull that into that hot glue. So, do a little thing of hot glue on the outer ring. And just pull that into it. All right, so I'm almost running out of this one right here. I'm just gonna pull it to the back. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take that one pipe cleaner that I cut in half. Once again, it ended right here on this little crossbar. I'm gonna go up inside there, twist it around one time, do that. That way I can loop this into here. Then I can pull that into there. I can tie some good tight twist on that to hold that into place. And then I can start my new one using this same little zip tie or little pipe cleaner right here. All right, so I'm gonna take the end of this one, same thing, I'm gonna put it right in there, in that little pipe cleaner that I already have. And I'm gonna do some good tight twist around this yarn. All right, so that is not going anywhere. I'm gonna cut off my tails. Same thing. <laughs> I'm now gonna just keep on wrapping. All right, so pull that over. Once again, I wanna need a little hot glue over here on this side. Put that into that hot glue. Okay, so like I said, I am just doing hot glue on this wire, just right on that wire. I'm gonna pull this snug up into it. Make sure there's no um, no gaps, no spaces. All right, so you'll see I'm almost finished with this big 18 inch reed form. So once again, just hot glue. Pull that over into it. All right, so now we're gonna move up to our 14 inch um, reed frame. Once again, I'm gonna put some hot glue on this bottom edge of this wire reed right there. I'm going to pull that over into that hot glue. All right, and same thing. I'm just going to start wrapping. Of course, when you first start something, you got to use some hot glue to hold everything into place. So hot glue that. I'm going to pull that up. I'm going to hold that tight. 
Let that dry. All right, once again, I'm just gonna pull this over in a little thing of hot glue right there on that edge, right up next to the other yarn. Just right there, a little hot glue. Lay that right down into it. All right, so now, once you get about halfway up again, you gotta start using a little bit of hot glue because it wants to like start sliding up this way on you. So, just make sure you, know, you don't have any gaps on your side. All right, I'm gonna put some hot glue right over here on this side, and it's gonna be the exact same thing. Hot glue, wrap to this side, little hot glue, wrap, hot glue. Very repetitive, but this is gonna be really cute when we're done. Okay, so, like I said, a little hot glue on the outer wire, and just pull that into that hot glue. Pull this over. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna do a little hot glue right here, right up next to my other piece of yarn. I'm just gonna pull that snug into that hot glue. All right, so once again, I'm just gonna continue to do this really quick. All right, y'all, we are up here towards the top and thank goodness because I don't have a lot left. <laughs> All right, same diagram thing. Hot glue. Just gonna wrap that around there. Pull it over. Alright, hot glue. Do some hot glue like back here. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of put a little hot glue there, over here on this side. I'm just gonna pull that, lay that right into there, kind of like on that little crossbar, and then come back over. All right, so you see, I got some wire right here. I'm gonna line this whole thing right here with some hot glue. And I'm gonna lay that straight into all of that hot glue. Across this front real quick kind of fill in any gaps that I have all right so <laughs> I'm gonna cut that off y'all I ended <laughs> with this much left all right that was two big uh, rolls of that yarn all right, now we need a hat. So I have this black foam board from Dollar Tree. Okay, let's see. I want the brim of his hat to be 12 inches long. So I've just got my ruler right here. Um, and let's see, how, how wide do I want it? I think two inches is probably good for the brim of his hat. So I'm just gonna measure this out real quick. Just do two inch mark here. Come over here on this side. And I'll also do like a little marking at the two inch. All right. Just so I can kind of get an idea of where I'm gonna to need to cut. All right, so that's gonna be the brim of my hat. Now, so that's 12 inches. All right, so I'm gonna lay my ruler there. I'm gonna come into the two inch mark. I'm going to make a little mark there. Down here, I'm going to go to the 10 inch mark. Okay, and now let's make our hat. I'm going to do nine inches and then we can always like trim it up a little bit. But I'd rather kind of know. All right, so let's go nine inches. Once again, come over here to the nine inch mark. All right, measure that out. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> I'm just trying to get like an idea. That way I can like, you'll kind of know what I'm doing, like what size I'm going with. 
All right, I'm gonna cut this out really quick. Just take some scissors. Like I said, this is foam board, so it cuts really easy. All right, so there is our top hat. Now, this is why I bought the black yarn. Um, I got the black foam board just in case as I'm wrapping it, you don't have like white popping through with that black. So I did black foam board and black yarn. All right, I think same thing on this bottom edge right here. I'm gonna hot glue going straight across to cover that up. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna outline it, I am. I'm gonna start right up here. I'm just gonna outline some hot glue. Just outline this whole little, little hat right here. Lay that into it carefully. Okay. Do the edge right here. Come down. Hot glue. All right, now I'm gonna do that bottom edge. A little hot glue, kind of going all the way across this, all the way across that bottom. I'm just gonna lay that right there into that hot glue. Just like that. Just kind of sit it right there. Okay. So I'm gonna come over to this side now. Little thing of hot glue right there. Just gonna pull that up into that hot glue. All right, what I'm gonna do is, <laughs> Just go with me here. I'm just gonna start wrapping this around the hat. Just start pulling and wrapping it around it. Um, watch for gaps. Make sure you kind of like fill in all your little spaces on the side, any gaps you have. And just keep wrapping this around it. And I'm pulling snug as I go. All right, so now that I'm getting up here towards the top of the hat, I'm gonna do some hot glue right here on the front. All right, just gonna do just kind of a little line of hot glue. And I'm gonna wrap this around and I'm gonna lay it into that hot glue. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna wrap around towards the back. Same thing right here on this back edge. I'm gonna do some hot glue right there. So for our top edge, I'm also gonna do hot glue going across that top edge. Okay, so kind of move some of my yarn out of my way. I'm just gonna do a little line of hot glue going all the way across this top. Okay, now we'll pull that and lay that right into that hot glue. All right, what I'm gonna do right here on this edge, I'm gonna do a little bit more hot glue, as neat as I can, just like right there, and I'm gonna pull the end of that, because then I can cut this off. All right, so I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, see, nice and clean. All right, so now I'm gonna take this again, I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna start wrapping down here. All right, so now that I'm right here, I'm gonna do a little thing of hot glue going across here too. So you can see it, just kind of come, cover that corner, kind of come down a little bit, and cover this corner. Oops, I'm gonna pull it straight up into that hot glue right there, right on that edge. All right, look how cute our snowman head is. <laughs> that is perfect. All right. All right, y'all, I work better when I'm looking straight on at something. So I'm gonna take this cutie off the door. Okay. We're gonna turn this into obviously a door hanger, the wreath. Take you a pipe cleaner or a zip tie. So find the top center of your wreath. Just go straight in. Push all through that. It's gonna go up around that wire. 
the top wire of your wreath. You're going to take the little ends right here. These ends, you're just going to twist them several, several times. Kind of bend it. Then I always like to slide that towards the back. And now our wreath will hang. Okay, so now for its hat, you can either obviously, you know, hot glue it straight up. I think I would mind to sit kind of like cockeyed, like over to the corner a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to coat. If you've ever like got hot glue on your clothes, it doesn't come out. So hot glue and like two like fabrics together, it's going to stick. I'm going to put hot glue all over the back side of this rim. Just going to put a bunch of hot glue on here. This back side is now coated with hot glue. Right there. Hot clip right onto here. Alright, so really quick, we need some eyeballs. <laughs> so I've got this black felt. Um, I think mine was at Walmart for like 20 cents. Felt is really cheap. So I'm gonna use this. Alright, so I just um, cut out a circle. I think this is a pretty good size. I'm gonna go ahead and I like cut around this. I'm just gonna cut around this one. That way they're pretty much the exact same. All right, so we also need a carrot for the nose. Now, you could. Um, the Easter stuff is out at Dollar Tree. You could get a carrot <laughs> from Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby, wherever. They already are putting out Easter stuff. So you could use a carrot. Or if you don't have something like this, orange felt. Once again, it's like 25, 30 cents at Walmart. Really cheap. I went ahead and I cut out one just to kind of see, and I really do like it. So all I did is just kind of start at the edge and just kind of almost like you're making like little humps. Like you kind of think of a carrot and it's kind of like come around. You know, obviously make the tip of it smaller and then same thing, just kind of loop or kind of, um, you're going to go in, you just do like little humps. And then the end, just kind of round it out. And then <laughs> it'll look like a carrot. Or you could just do like a long triangle. All right, so for our snowman here, um, his little eyes that we just cut out and made. Good thing with felt, it kind of sticks. <laughs> so I can sit that there to kind of play with it before I glue it down. All right, let's see. And that little nose that we just made. You know? And that looks cute on there. And like I said, now, you could use that actual carrot from Dollar Tree. Say something like that. That would be really cute. You know? But like I said, if you don't have this, this felt right here. Okay. Just gonna lift that up. Some hot glue onto that. <laughs> All right. Think because it is officially um, February. Today is February 1st that I'm making this. Um, I'm kind of thinking Valentine's Day. So I'm good. Mine's gonna have like um, like a Valentine's Day vibe to it, but you could use whatever you want. That way you can leave it up as long as you want. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with mine. I'm just trying to give you a little inspiration. So I have these felt stickers. From Dollar Tree. It comes in a big pack. You get pink, red, white, all different sizes. If you shop Dollar Tree, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But they're stickers. So I'm gonna play with with this just for a minute. Like I said, it's a sticker. I can peel it right off if I don't like it. But I think I want it to be like the snowman is blushing. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna try to do. And if I love it, and then if I like it, I can hot glue it on. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take these buttons from Dollar Tree. This is what I'm gonna use. And it's gonna be for his little mouth. I'm gonna dig through this container and I'm gonna get out the biggest buttons that I can find. All right, I'm gonna start hot gluing these little buttons on here.
Oh my gosh, that's adorable. <gasps> I love that. <laughs> I love him. It looks like, like he's blushing. All right, so I'm going to make a big bow for mine. Now, I could not find Valentine's Day ribbon at Dollar Tree. All right, so because I make so many wreaths, um, I've got ribbon from like a local craft store called D's, D's of Louisville. Um, also, Craft Outlet. I love Craft Outlet, and they are very reasonable. So I'm just going to use some ribbon that I already have. You can use whatever you want or whatever you can find. I'm going to take this one. Like I said, mine's going to be like a Valentine's Day snowman. So I have this with the hearts on it. I also have black and white polka dots. I love mixing red and pink with black and white. I love it. I've got this. So, um, so I'm just going to make a big old bow. Oh, I'm going to go with my two and a half inch ribbon. <laughs> I'm going to let that drop to the floor. All right, what I do is, and I'm going to turn so you can see. All right, I like to give myself a tail. And then I pinch it. Okay. Because my ribbon is printed on the front side only, I'm going to take this. See how it's down? I'm now going to take this. I'm going to loop towards the back. And I'm going to pinch it right there where I was pinching that tail. Okay? And that gave me one loop. All right? So now you see how this is just like dangling down? I'm now going to lift this straight up into the air. See? Straight up in the air. Now I'm going to bend it forwards. And that way that print now is laying forwards. And then once again, right there where I was pinching this already, I'm now going to pinch that. Okay. Right. So now I have two loops. What I like to do is I like to take this, make sure both of my loops are about the exact same size of each other. All right. So I've got that just like that. Now, what I do is, because sometimes y'all, my hands will start to hurt. I like to take a chip clip, a chip clip, a clothespin, and I'll just pinch it right there in the center. That way this will stay, that way this will stay together for me while I work on the next set of ribbon. So just like that, I'm going to sit this right here. I'm now going to take my black and white polka dot. I'm going to let that hit the floor. <laughs> All right, once again, printed only on the front side. So, I'm going to pinch me a tail, kind of a long tail. There's that. All right, so that's straight down. I'm going to loop towards the back, and I'm going to pinch it. Okay, right where I was pinching that tail, I'm now pinching that loop. All right, so remember, this is now down to the ground where I let it drop. I'm just going to pick that straight up into the air. Straight up in the air, not do anything to it. Okay, so I'm now going to bend that forwards. See, straight up, bend it forwards. That way my print is facing forwards. And I'm now going to pinch that. Right there where I was already pinching the tail in this loop. I'm going to make sure these are the same size, which they're not. My one is too big. So all I have to do is just adjust it. Just adjust it a little bit. So now I'll just kind of repinch. Still a little too big, so I'll kind of let out a little bit. All right, those are about the same size. All right, so now I'm going to take this. I'm going to keep pinching that right there in the center. Right here. I'm going to stick it right there, and I'm going to hold it for a minute. Now, I'll pick this back up right where it's being pinched. I'm going to let go of that, and I'm going to keep pinching that right in that center. All right. Now, I'm going to take this little bundle that I've been pinching. All right, so that's like that. I'm not going to take this. I'm going to cross it. All right, I'm not going to go straight on like that. I'm going to, like, cross it. And I'm going to hold all that right there. I'm going to take me a pipe cleaner. All right, I'm going to lay it across this whole entire bundle that I'm pinching. Right. I like to make sure I kind of get my tails about the same size, same length of each other. Right now, I'm going to wrap that around this whole entire bundle, both ribbons, and I'm going to give this some good, tight twists. Really tight, really good twist, just like that. Right. Now, this is not going anywhere. I can now pull 
and adjust all of my loops without worrying about it falling apart. I'm gonna take my scissors, and I'm gonna cut that off. I'm gonna cut that off. All right, so we're looking like this. Dovetail your ends. See that? Fold that over in half. Okay, it's completely folded in half on the seam, not to the opening. On the seam, line up your ends. I will take my scissors straight up at, a, at an angle. Okay, and I'm gonna cut up at an angle. And then you have a beautiful, perfect, clean dovetail. Same thing, it doesn't matter what, what size ribbon you're using. Fold it over in half, line up your sides on the seam. The folded part, I will cut up at an angle, just like that. All right, I'm going to do this side too. Right. Look at that beautiful bundle. Ha! I love it. All right, now I'm also going to take this ribbon. This is Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has uh, ribbon all year round. Walmart has ribbon. Okay, so I cut me a big long strip. Just like that. Look how cute. All right, I am, I'm gonna put some hot glue back here to attach that ribbon. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this out. I'm gonna put hot glue like right on the back on that edge. I'm gonna wrap that around and attach that to the back of the hat carefully without burning yourself. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. We'll put some hot glue right here on the back of this. I'm also, I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue on the back side of this right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift that up. I'm gonna do a little line of hot glue. And just kind of lightly tap, because I don't wanna burn myself, lightly. All right, so what I'm gonna do is that beautiful bundle that we just made, um, the pipe cleaners. I'm gonna take these pipe cleaners, I'm gonna wrap it around my band that is hot glued on here. Just push that tail through there. Okay. And I'm just gonna twist this around the ribbon that has hot glued on there. And I'm just using that pipe cleaner, the tails of that pipe cleaner that's attached to all the ribbon. So now I'm gonna cut off those excess tails. I don't need all this long. Okay. I've got these little like frosted little berry picks or these frosted little berries from Dollar Tree. Um, I had this on one of my tier trays that I decorated with. I just popped the heads off. I'm gonna hot glue some of this, some of these into my little bundle too. What I'm gonna do, <laughs> I'm gonna put some hot glue just like on the end, just like right here on the stem, just a little hot glue. And we'll pop that right into there. All right, for his scarf, his or her, who, whoever you want it to be, I'm gonna keep it simple. I've got these Buffalo Check Scarves from Dollar Tree. They also have Valentine's Day ones, and I may get one the next time I go to Dollar Tree and may pick up one. But for now, um, one of these I think is gonna look really cute wrapped around his little neck. Yeah, really either one of these. Let's see, I love black and white Buffalo Check. I'm gonna try this really quick just to kind of see. So this is just one of those basic fashion scarves from Dollar Tree. They have these year round. They always have these kind of scarves. Like I said, right now they have Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day. So you could kind of like switch it up if you wanted. All right, let's see. I'm gonna wrap around this little neck here. I'll go around one more time. You know what we could do for its little buttons? Um, once again, Use some buttons from Dollar Tree, some big black buttons. Um, you could cut out some felt. Or I have this little pick. This right here is a pick from Dollar Tree. You get this whole thing for $1.25. It has these beautiful, like pink, sparkly hearts on it. How cute would this be as its buttons? <laughs> um, I think that's adorable. I'm going to do that for mine. So all I'm gonna do, this little head, the heart, it's like star foam. I'm gonna pull this, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna pull that off there. Look at that. Look how pretty, look how beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna put hot glue on the back of this. Is there a front versus like one side better than the other? 
Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to pretty much outline this little heart and just a little thing of hot glue. Oh my gosh, y'all. This turned out to be adorable. Seriously, I, <laughs> to be honest with you, I almost gave up making the snowman because I've never done, like I've never worked with this kind of yarn before. So I did get a little frustrated. So if you get frustrated, it's okay. Just keep with it. Um, the bottom, and if you do make this, the bottom is a little bit thicker. That's all right, it's a snowman. It's like he's sitting in some snow. So it's a little bit thicker there. And just wrap, you know, do hot glue on the sides. Wear the finger protectors from Dollar Tree if you have them. Um, but when you get to like up here, but then you can like wrap, wrap, wrap. But you have to like wrap hot glue kind of here and there. But the end result is adorable. I love this. And y'all, this is over three feet tall. Seriously, it's over three feet tall. Especially with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> the, hat, the hat takes it over three feet tall. I love this and I love that I kind of like last minute changed mine to be Valentine's Day because I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to do a basic snowman but <laughs> and what changed my mind is Presley came home and she's like mom Christmas is over. I'm like it's winter you know it's February it's winter here so I started thinking okay what about Valentine's Day. So this way I now have something really cute I can put on our front door because our front door has had nothing since Christmas. And I love him. <laughs> I just think he's adorable. And to you kind of like think outside the box. You know me using these little, <laughs> Bailey, me using these little hearts is the button. I just think that really added a lot to it. But all right, you know, <laughs> I am dying to know what you think of this. And if you recreate it, I would love to know. And you can send me pictures to see on Instagram. So, and that is happiness is homemade underscore four. All right, if you missed it, we just did Super Bowl, like football hats, little toppers for our marshmallow people. <laughs> so cute. The, um, the football and the field goal, I will definitely be saving for like fall decor and everything. Okay, it's been a while. <laughs> I kept looking at this snowman and I knew it needed something else. So I went ahead, I made an arm and I really like that. So I thought I would show you really quick. I just have one of these dowel rods and I have one of the smaller ones from Dollar Tree. Um, so all I'm gonna do, I took the smaller one, just kind of cut it in half. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna hot glue these, kind of like a different Okay, let me do this. Kind of like a different heights. So, all I did, put some hot glue, just like right here on this bigger one. Like that. I'm gonna add the stout rod, the smaller one. Kind of get an angle, like sticking out the side. All right, so just like that, I'm gonna add a little bit extra hot glue, just going around it. Okay. Now over here on the other side, I'm gonna hot glue kind of like down this way. So once again, just gonna put a little hot glue just right here on the bigger one. And I'm gonna stick the smaller one into it. And just let that dry. All right, and then once again, I'm gonna add a little extra hot glue just going around it. All right, so that same black thick yarn that we used for his hat. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is um, not at the bottom because that's going to be like tucked into our snowman. Just about like right here. I'm going to do some hot glue. Kind of just go around it. I'm going to lay the end of this yarn right into that hot glue. Alright, now I'm going to hold the end and I'm just going to start twisting this yarn all the way up. Alright, so now when I get to this bottom one, I'm gonna go in between it, or we'll keep twisting around it. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in between that one, and I'm just gonna twist around only the center. I'm not doing the two that we like hot glued to the sides. We're gonna come back to that. All right, so once you get up towards the top, just put you some hot glue around that. 
just kind of go around it and also on the top of it. And then just twist that into that hot glue, wrap it around, also like covering the top of it. All right, and then I'll cut off all that excess. All right, you're just gonna do the exact same thing for the two smaller sides. <laughs> all right, I went ahead and did this one too really quick. But see, just like that, I'm just gonna take the end, that's why we didn't wrap the end, and I'm just gonna like wedge it, just kinda like shove it down into the snowman, right there into that wreath. And look how cute that is. You could always add some hot glue onto the, um, to the rod and then shove it in there. I'm also going to take some Mod Podge, Dollar Tree Mod Podge, and I've got some snow still from Christmas. Um, you can also use Epsom salt. If you don't have any of this like faux snow, you can use Epsom salt. I think it'd be cute to add some like snow just kind of here and there. Just kind of brush that on. I'm going to back you when I'm done. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely have to back you my floor now, but that's all right. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. He is just too daggone cute. Oh, the arms. Yeah, if you make the snowman, definitely add you some arms. Even if you get sticks from your yard. Um, it just really adds a lot to it. So just a cute, fun little thing if you're doing like Super Bowl, thing ahead of fall, my battery's about to die. Um, and then like all the vintage Valentines we've done. But, all right, <laughs> I've gone through four batteries filming this thing today. So, but all right, I hope that you have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Oh, and if you like this video and you think that he is adorable, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Bye guys.